Hey everyone, and welcome back. And it's been a little while since I made a video. The topic of this video is, you might be wondering why you're staring at my uh, ugly looking YouTube uh, page here. Uh, it's because my banner, and you can see this weird text uh, in my banner and I've used it across uh, various channels and I've had people in the past ask me what it relates to or what the reason is. Um, and if you don't know, it is uh, actually a fork bomb. And if you don't know what a fork bomb is, it's a type of denial of service attack, a very rudimentary and simple one um, against Unix based systems. And uh, we can break down how it works. So uh, let's just close this for a second and hop into VS Code or you know any code editor so we can take a look at this. And you might be wondering how something as simple as this one line, uh, what is it, 13 character uh, little, little string here, could do so much damage and cause a denial of service attack. Well, in most cases, it actually can on any Unix-based system if there are no protections in place, which there often aren't. And what it basically leads to is resource exhaustion. Um, and it does this because it is essentially forking itself as a function over and over and over and causing all of these PIDs to spawn almost immediately, which of course overloads the resources of the server and causes it to freeze up and uh, leads to a denial of service. And so let's break down how this actually works. And the crux of it is in a couple of different things here. The main thing is this colon, and the other thing here is this pipe. And, um, well, let's get into it, right? So a colon is actually a valid function name in the bash scripting language or the shell scripting language. And so what we can do is just select each of these colons here. And if we want to start, uh, you know, breaking this down farther, or I guess in this case, expanding it out to make more sense, um, let's just change this to the function name of fork, right? And so we can also clean this up a bit so and add some spacing here and there. And we don't actually need this. And so there we go. Um, that looks a bit more readable, right? So we have a function name of fork and you can basically see what it's doing. And so when we look between the curly brackets here, well, this is the body of that function. And what is it doing, right? Well, it's calling itself and then it's piping that to call itself again. So meaning that every time it's called, well, it's starting two more instances of itself. And if you recognize the and symbol here in bash or shell scripting, well, it's going to run this function in the background, allowing more parent processes to be created. And so that's how it keeps growing and growing and growing, right? And so when the command is executed, the original one liner, it kind of sets off this chain reaction of sorts where it calls itself twice. And each of those calls also creates two more instances of the same function with different PIDs, which sets off another set of two and another and another and another. And they all run in the background because of this and symbol here. And so we just get this exponential growth of processes, exhausting the system resources and essentially crashing the system. And so if not clear already, don't run this on your system <laughs> unless you want to crash it. Um, I mean, you can just restart your system. It's not going to permanently damage things, but but just don't do this. There, there's your warning. Um, and as I say that, I'm going to do it. And so let's demonstrate how that one liner uh, can immediately exhaust our system resources and um, cause everything to break. So I'm gonna clear this and maybe what I'll do is open another terminal here, uh, just off to the side. And we can call our function in this little window here. And, um, and here we can just run something like top so we can monitor the PIDs and how they're spawned. And so uh, let's do it, let's let it rip. Um, so I pasted in that one liner there, as you can see, and uh, I'm just gonna hit run. And immediately everything froze. We actually didn't get to, <laughs> we didn't get to see any of the PIDs being spawned. Uh, everything is frozen up here, as you can tell. I'm typing things and it's not working. You can see in the top right there, my resource graph is just going absolutely nuts. And this server is pretty much dead. Um, yeah, I can't seem to do anything right now. Oh, there we go, we, we, we got it to stop, but it's too late. They're already running in the background. Um, so yeah, this, this server's pretty much borked uh, and we need to do a restart. Okay, so that was fun. Um, and the reason why I'm using Kali is just because that's the only VM <laughs> I have available right now. Um, I'm testing a bunch of stuff and I don't wanna use those uh, test VMs to uh, basically brick, well, to basically uh, deny of service. And because I'm dumb and curious, um, I wanted to see if I could set up a very simple website to just host that uh, one liner of a fork bomb and see if I could just curl my way into a denial of service. Um, 
And so that's what I did. And so I bought the domain forkbomb.me, and uh, if we curl it, you can see it just basically returns that one liner uh, in a single line there, right? If we open this up in Firefox, well, you can see it's just that one line fork bomb. And so, I mean, in theory, this should work. There's no reason why it wouldn't work. So I don't even know why I'm testing this other than the fact that I spent money on a domain that uh, I'm only going to use in a single video just for the memes, I guess. So uh, let's, uh, let's see what happens. I'm going to curl forkbomb.me and in this case, I'm just going to pipe the output of that uh, into Bash. It's gonna work, right? Like it's like, it's basically just like echoing this in into a subroutine or something. So, and so I guess we just go for it and uh, watch my system once again uh, get destroyed. And so you can immediately see in the top right there, the resource graph uh, is just going wild. I cannot type anything. And uh, yeah, we just uh, denied ourselves of service once again. We have another availability issue uh, to respond to due to our own um, curiosity and uh, stupidity, I guess, in this case. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was a shorter one. Uh, it was a weird topic, I guess. Um, but I had this, honestly, I bought this domain like weeks ago and I just never had time to film this video. Uh, there we go, resource temporarily unavail unavailable. Uh, we have screwed ourselves. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be, um, like I said, I'm gonna try to make some more uh, frequent videos uh, once I move and get settled within the next week or so. So I expect um, by the end of June, I will hopefully in theory be in a good content uh, posting schedule. I hope so because I want to do more things like streams and videos and uh, I have a lot of topics of videos. I just don't have the time or the, uh, in currently I don't have the uh, capacity or the um, resources to do it. So uh, that will change very shortly. So thank you for watching and uh, yeah, have a good night. I'm going to try to recover this machine now. <laughs> See ya.